Hi everyone, this is Miss Tang and today we're going to be looking at monitoring. So this strategy is a part of the Super 6 Comprehension Strategies. So with monitoring, what we're learning to do is to stop and think about the text because we need to be aware of what we're thinking while we're reading. Okay, so the criteria involves being able to acknowledge when you understand a part of the text, uh, being able to acknowledge when you're confused, when you're surprised, when you think there's a part of the text that's important, when you've learned something new from the text, and also when you have really enjoyed a part of the text. So it's really important to be aware of what you're thinking when you're reading. And it's also really important to be aware of when the meaning is disrupted. So when you're not really sure or you're trying to check your understanding with what's happening in the text. So you might ask yourself questions like, is this making sense? Do I need to read this again? Does it make sense now? Should I slow down? Is there something that um, I can do to fill in any missing information that I have? Is there a word in there that I'm not sure of? Okay, and what can what can I use to help me understand what it is that I'm trying to read? So you might be thinking, hmm, I need to find out the meaning of this word. Or you might be thinking, hmm, this is a really interesting part. Okay, so one strategy that you can use to monitor your understanding is to actually annotate and to make notes to whatever it is that you are reading. So here are some symbols that you can use to make note of what you're thinking in the text. So when you're reading a piece of text, um, you could put a little tick if you feel like you understood that part. You can do a little question mark if you were a bit confused about what's happening in the text. You can do an exclamation mark if you feel like you're surprised and, oh wow, you didn't know that was going to happen. You can do a little um, star or um, if you, think that was a really important part of the text. You could do a plus sign if you've learned something new and you can do a love heart sign if you really enjoyed that part of the text. Okay, so this is an example of what a good, great, amazing, fabulous monitoring would entail. So it includes being able to so being able to use one or more of these strategies, okay? So you might reread, you might use the clues to help you understand what's happening. You might make notes and you might um, question, okay? Great monitoring means that you can do it independently. So you can do most of these strategies independently and by yourself. Amazing is if you can do all of these strategies by yourself and independently and fabulous is if you can do it independently and you can also help other people through this process of rereading looking at the clues making notes questioning all right let's have a look at what we're doing okay this is a level two task so this is our monitoring comprehension um, activity, what you're going to do is you're going to read this text called The Great Discovery. And then while you're reading, you're going to make little notes on, um, on your sheet. Okay, so you are going to put a tick for the parts where you understand that part of the text. You're going to do a question mark if you're confused, exclamation mark if you're surprised, a star if you thought that was pretty important. Um, a plus if you learned something new and a heart if you really enjoyed that part of the text. Okay, and then after that, you are going to explain why. Why did you use that symbol? Okay, so what did you understand? What was confusing? What was exciting about that text? Okay, and then you're going to explain why you use these symbols. All right, if that's a little bit challenging, it's okay. This is a level one activity. So all you need to do is you can read the same text or you can read your own book and then you just have to answer these questions, okay? So you just have to answer, is this making sense? Do I need to read it again? Does this make sense now, Etc. So 
you just have to answer that if you would like a bit of a challenge then i challenge you to do this with a book that you might already be reading or a different text than what i've given you okay so give it a go on your own all right go for it